I think you'd be a real good fit for the project. I'd love to see you in my lab. Choosing a career path can be hard, but what if you could try it out? And what if you could gain experience, build your resume, make connections, and learn in a hands-on way through real life applications? All students participate in the classroom, but not all students take an active role in research projects. Take a look at this pie chart. 22% of undergraduate seniors worked on research projects, but only 5% of first-year students did the same. A staggering 80% of students who participated in undergraduate research reported substantial gains in understanding their course concepts. Students just like you are participating in active research every day. Just ask Caitlin over at Rose Holman. <laughs> that is delicious. I first got involved in research a couple months ago, um, early on my freshman year. I didn't think I would be able to as a freshman, and I was really shocked when I was able to have the opportunity to do undergraduate research. There was just a job on campus that was available. I was actually a business major at the time, um, and now I'm a civil engineering major, and it's all because of, of the work. Well, I initially got involved in research because my advisor had come to me and said, hey, we have this great opportunity over the summer for you. You've performed well in my classes. I'd really like you on board with this. I think this would be great for your career. It takes what you learn in classroom and then takes it outside so you're able to apply what you have learned. But more importantly, when you do research, stuff doesn't work properly. Those nice, neat equations that you get in the classroom, you got to modify those a little bit and take into account other factors. As I do more and more research and begin to test more and more of my own ideas, I've realized that I've really come to love research and that it's pushed me to actually go for the PhD later on in my life. Coming right out of high school into a full-on research lab at college was uh, very daunting at first, but the people there were very patient, they were very understanding. There's a real culture of like mentorship and uh, you know sharing knowledge with others and uh, they're very open to you asking for help. What really excites me about being involved in research is the unknown aspect and the creativity that comes in being able to achieve something that no one has achieved before. The fact that I'm able to pursue a new idea and or improve on that idea is the main thing that really makes me love the idea of research. It's gonna feel like you're not, you don't know what you're doing a lot of the times, but um, that's part of being an engineer is just being able to figure out a way to overcome the adversity of not knowing exactly what's going to be happening and solving that problem. There's like a gap between what feels like impossible and what you re like what you feel like you can do. And when you just get involved in research, you realize that you can just move forward and just go do it. I pictured uh, that research was for people that were going to graduate school, but really I came to understand that research isn't just for people that want a PhD, it's for even people like me that are interested in going into industry just after college. Every time in interviews I talk about my research and I also talk about my internship experience, they always say, let's go back to your research. Tell me more about that. I'm very interested in what you did because not only does it present something interesting, but it also represents a lot of initiative and a lot of character for me to be able to have something that I've done on my own. It is going to help me with my uh, character skills and talking to colleagues in the workplace setting. It helps with my tactile, um, hands-on skills as an engineer. 
and it's also going to help me pursue my passions and find niche career paths that I truly want to do with my life. The moment when I started undergraduate research, it was the moment when I really felt like I am also a part of this team that is driving health innovation forward. I think you should get involved with research as early as you can. Um, a lot of professors are doing research alongside teaching classes, and a lot of students don't realize that. Be brave, go outside your comfort zone, be uh, passionate about learning new things, and don't be afraid of failing. Participating in any research projects, this is actually a very good practice in problem solving skills. It's actually a, uh, a very important step to move from theory into practice. Make sure you like it, right? you want to do it. You don't want to do it just for the sake of adding a line on your resume. You want to do it because you're, you're genuinely interested in pursuing something new. You have to be willing to put in hard work and going through a lot of failures. What's really valuable is the experience you learn. There are a lot of students who don't quite understand all of the things that you can do with your particular undergraduate program until you get into the laboratory. And you don't realize that you can do things related to the medical field or to the food field or whatever, um, because maybe those areas are not particularly touched on in your coursework. And until you get into the laboratory and see how all of those things apply to the real world, you won't know that. The professors have so much knowledge that they can give you, and if you're not doing the research, you're missing the opportunity to take on that knowledge that they wouldn't normally present to you in a classroom. Uh, you just have to take that first step, reach out to someone. It um, doesn't matter if it's an upperclassman, a TA, a professor, just reach out to someone and see if you can get that first step, get a foothold in research. Professors are there to help you. They want to support you. They want to see you succeed and they want you to learn. The worst a professor can say is no, they're not working on anything right now. Best case scenario, they will find someone to help you. They will find a professor to support you and get you on a research project that you really enjoy and are really passionate about. So what about you? Are you ready to get out of the classroom and into the lab? I bet you'd look pretty spiffy in some PPE and a lab coat. I know I would. Yep, I was right. You'll get hands-on experience exploring your interests in science and engineering, and you get a newfound clarity for a field you might want to pursue as a career. Not too shabby. You could join a research group, work on an honors thesis, independent study, or find a paid or unpaid research position. Getting involved in research is easier than you think. The best way to get involved is to get to know your professors and other student researchers. Talk to them about their experiences and stay up to date with email notices from your department's or undergraduate research office. A la modi. <laughs> mm, 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 mm.